final piece of like football that I really wanted to talk about. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you. We just, you got to roll with it. Uh, the final fee piece of NFL football from week five that I really wanted to talk about. We learned about today, Tuesday morning, Bob Sala is out as the Giants head, or the Jets head oh. coach. Oh, that's a fine. Almost. almost. I no, that's a fine. It, he corrected himself before we could find him. I'll give him that. You tell me. Uh, Tybo we should still find him for something else, though. <laughs> I tried, people. People out there. He's, we're tired of seeing me get fined. I trust. <laughs> Bob, Bob Sala is out as the Jets head coach after two years and five weeks, three years and five weeks. Uh, three years, 20 and 36 record. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 30, yeah. Three, three years and five weeks. Uh, sad thing is, is he had that defense ripping and rolling. He was one of the best defensive coaches. He wasn't necessarily the coordinator, obviously, but he was one of the best defensive coaches before he became the head coach. And then after he came the, the, the head coach for the Jets, uh, he, he still kept that tradition going. How do we feel about Bob Sala being fired uh, for some things that were probably maybe a little bit out of his control? Listen, this was always going to happen for the Jets. Uh, and honestly, all defensive head coaches in the NFL, uh, if their offense does not work, they're going to get blamed. If they have a great offensive coordinator, they're going to get hired somewhere else, and then their offense goes to shit, they're to blame. Uh, his offense has exactly the same numbers this year as they had under Zach Wilson last year, which is not something you want to say about an Aaron Rodgers-led offense, first Ooh. of all. He threw three interceptions Sunday morning. Exactly, but That's you not don't... Bob's fault. <laughs> Listen, it's all it's all Aaron Rodgers' run. Uh, Woody Johnson does not like it all, especially losing in London, coming back to that. Uh there's also rumor, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was rumors of Bob Salah talking to Nathaniel Hackett, telling him he's going to get demoted here soon. Five I minutes did later, Bob Salah was fired. Yeah, no, that could have totally been it. Not necessarily because Aaron was like, get rid of him. But the Jets were probably like, hey, look, Aaron's our guy. And he wants Hackett. And if you got a problem with fucking either of them, you're out. Yeah. I could see that for sure. That was the first time, and I believe it was – if I'm reading the report, if the report is correct, the it was reported this was the first time that an NFL yes. coach in two decades has been fired and then had to have been removed. I don't think that there was it at least wasn't reported that there were any altercations uh, in any way, shape or form, no verbal or physical. But he was removed from the facility, unable to speak to his players or any of the staff uh, that he was leaving or had been fired or whatever the decision ultimately was. Um, but yeah, first time in 20 years, if that report is correct, that a head coach has been removed from the building after being fired without being able to speak to anyone. Well, he's and a big was... guy too. Like he's not, he's not like he's, he's Jax. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be easy guy. to just ask him to leave. And this was strictly a Woody Johnson choice. Uh, mm -hmm. nobody in the front office was really aware of it until it happened. So Woody runs New York apparently. Woody hasn't done this in his 25 year uh, tenure as as uh, being being in charge of the Jets. He's do you never think done that it. There's more to the story that uh, oh, obviously yeah. we don't know, but there. Do you think that there's more of the story that maybe comes from Bob Sala's side on maybe why he was removed instead of being allowed to speak to the team or staff? He probably just asked to, and Woody was like, "Get the fuck out of my building! <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Go." <laughs> I mean, that's probably just what happened. I, I I like to think that there's probably something that like an altercation that happened, but this is the real world, man. He was probably just like, no, you can't do that. Get out of my building. What is that used to the football firings like that? No, definitely not mid season. No. That's that's no. fair. I don't think many, many teams are not used to that. That just doesn't usually happen. It's either no. it's not five weeks into the season. And that's why so I find early. this one. So, so odd is not allowing, you know, a little bit of time to kind of change over Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Hasn't played well, uh, but you can't really blame Bob Sala for the offense, not performing well this year. When you've brought in the offensive coordinator that you want, you've brought in the, the quarterback that you want. And that quarterback is 40 years old coming off of an Achilles tear. Like this is, this is a really weird move for the New York jets. What's going to happen next week when they score 12 points again. I, I mean, so I, they might not. They yeah. might not. 
maybe and who knows maybe they go on like a two-week tear offensively but then what happens when they come back down to earth and they continue to suck again and score 12 points like yeah eventually it's going to happen whether it happens immediately or it happens a little bit later like what's been happening is the status quo for this giant for Mm -hmm. for this jets team damn dude almost twice Twice. uh i do think I, i i think they'll have like a They'll trend upwards for, you know, probably two, maybe three weeks just because, you know, that that new interim head coach, new life into the facility, all that stuff, how we always talk about. Antonio so Pierce situation. Yeah. Well, most of them. Anytime like Jeff Saturday in um in Indianapolis a few years ago, you know, um, he had no business being the head coach, <laughs> but they found a way to beat the Raiders. Uh <laughs> when it mattered. But no, I think I think uh I don't think it was like Aaron Rodgers telling Bob Sala, like telling the front office to get rid of Bob. Um, I do think though that the the Jets are in trouble. And to Sean's point, like it was probably going to happen this year if they didn't make the AFC Championship game. I would say though, um, impressed, uh, definitely impressed that he was fired before Nick Sirianni. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> definitely impressed with that. Definitely impressed. It's with only that. because Sirianni was on a bye week. <laughs> <laughs> that's true 